Hello and welcome to part no. Hello and welcome to part twenty-three of my Let's Plat of WWE 2K16. It's a day later than I originally planned, what I originally said in my videos. I still uploaded yesterday, it was just another dream match. Um, and the reason for that was I was just waiting for some feedback from someone, um, trying to make this series interactive. Um, basically, I asked you guys for your input on what we should do next. We had more to do on Showcase, we had My Career, we had Universe Mode, we had online stuff to do. And... Um, Basically, we're going to be doing my career next. So, um, obviously, I wanted to get interactive with the making of the superstar, the wrestler, whichever word you want to use, the sports entertainer that we use throughout my career. Um, so, just waiting for a little bit of feedback. Uh, and now I am ready to go. So, I'm going to start a new file. There is no file to load. This is our first venture into the brand new My Career Mode. And it's supposed to be much improved um, from last year's, which is good, because last year's was a bit brief, shall we say, and not that great. Uh, a bit repetitive, a bit boring. Um, there's three slots. I don't remember if that's a thing from last time. But we are going to create a brand new superstar. As we look at Sting on our loading screen. That was cool seeing Sting at WrestleMania 31. Big Sting fan ever since being a kid. So to go and see him live at WrestleMania was really cool. Anyway, in my career, after saving your custom superstar, the following cannot be changed. Height, which is found under the body category. Weight class, which is found under the personal info category. But anything else can be. Okay. Okay, that's cool. So, here we have two blank superstars obviously that's because this is his entrance attire and this is his ring attire and this, when they're side by side i'm editing both i'm not going to bore you with the ins and outs of me creating a wwe superstar from scratch i'm just going to do that and uh magically fade out through the magic of video editing who remembers that old catchphrase through the magic of video editing we're going to have two fully created superstars <laughs> Ta-da! Okay, so, um, I'm not going to go through everything, but obviously you can see there's a two different attires. He's got a nice robe and a headband and some boots, shoes for his uh, actual entrance. He takes his shoes off because look at him, he's got his black belt and he's a martial artist. Um, he takes his fancy robe off and his headband because that's a bit cheesy for actually wrestling in. Um, and he's got awesome across his headband. He's also got awesome on the back of his robe. It's just spinning round, there we go. Because this guy's name is Jack Awesome. Which um, is after one of my subscribers who wants to see my career. And I don't know if he wants his social media given out or not, so I won't um, until I know from him that he does want it. But I know in his, somewhere in his Instagram name, um, he has Awesome. So that's not his real name. His, real, his name is Jack, um, but he's, and he's in his Instagram name somewhere. It also contains the word awesome, and no, it's not just Jack Awesome, so don't try looking him up. Um, but yeah, there you go, so Jack Awesome is my creation. Just like with The Sims, I decided to base it on you guys making the decisions around here. I decided to give you a little something back, hope he enjoys being in WWE. So, without further ado, do you want to turn my career invasion on? My career invasion is a functionality that enables your friends superstars to show up in your my career save. You cannot change this option later. I don't have that many friends on PS4 that have this game. No, I'm gonna want it to be real people, I think, real wrestlers. Let's let's leave that off for now. My career invasion will be turned off. Do you wanna be able to say turn this on once you start my career? Do you still want to turn this off? Yes. I think that was the right answer. So now we just wait for the loading. And I didn't get to change anything like move sets or entrances or anything like that. So if he's a bit lame at first, it's not my fault. I didn't make him like that. The game did. Um, but I will change it at the earliest available opportunity. Probably in between videos. Because you guys can figure out how to create a superstar yourself. You don't need, you don't need a guide on how to create someone. You create them however you want. However you want them to be. Welcome to the Performance Center. I know you had a lot of offers on the table, and I'm glad you chose to go with the WWE. We know how talented you are, and we want to put you on the fast track to the NXT title. Now go get warmed up, 
I have a matchup for you once you're ready to go. Right, okay, so first cut scene, we're going for the NXT title, apparently we're on the fast track. That was uh, Finn Balor and Hideo Tami in the ring, just casually training there with us, which is cool. Obviously, Albert, A-Train, Prince Albert, uh, Tensei, Lord Tensei, um, Giant Bernard, he was called in Japan, wasn't he? He's in charge of us in this uh, episode. Next event is NXT, so... Um, is this just happening by itself? Okay, right, yeah. This is your home. From here, you can view the match card, browse the rankings for all the titles, upgrade your My Superstar, among other things. Let's start by choosing rankings and selecting a, w a WWE Championship to go for. Rankings. I would like the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, please. <laughs> this is the ranking screen. From here, you can target which championship you want to go for. Once you choose a championship, raise your popularity by winning matches and making the right decisions out of the ring. For now, choose the choose NXT Championship by pressing X. Oh, I can't, I can't move to anything else. Okay, well, I'm going to join this. For joining the rankings for a new championship, you will lose your place in any other rankings. You will start at rank number 10 in your new championship ranking. Are you sure you want to join the rankings for the championship? Yes, I do. You are now going for the NXT championship. <gasps> Lots of text there, guys. To move up the rankings, you need to get into rivalries with other WWE superstars, win matches, and put on good post-show interviews. Through this, you'll gain popularity, which moves you up the rankings. Dismiss this message and press circle to get back to the home screen. So there we are. Nice and uh, tenth. Jack Awesome, and it says his face. Uh, it was actually requested uh, on Instagram by Jack, who is now being known as Jack Awesome, um, that I make him some sort of heel in the same sort of vein as Ted DiBiase. Or Ric Flair, so this boy knows his wrestling history. Um, so that's why he's got a big robe, basically, to make him Ric Flair-esque. But um, also, all over Jack's Instagram, there are pictures of him doing, ma very, you know, martial artsy stuff. Um, so I figured I'd make him a bit of a martial arts guy. Who's uh, number one contender? Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens, Finn Balor, yes. Sami Zayn's in there. Tommy Kalisto's in there. Baron Corbin. Colin. Big Cass. Big Cass is there. Aiden English is two spaces ahead of Simon Gotch. Wonder how he feels about that. And they're still heel on this. And Tyler Breeze is there as well. Right, this is your first match. We've got Enzo Amore. Bada bing, bada boom. Realist dude in the room. Or whatever it is. I don't actually watch NXT that much. I know I enjoyed these when I watched them, though. Um, <laughs> everyone's going to shout at me now if I got that wrong. Um, this is your first match. Once in NXT, you will be able to view the entire match card from here. For now, press X to go to your first match. This is the match card for the current show you are in. From here, you can view your matchup along with everyone else's. Later on, you'll be able to interact with other WWE Superstars matches. For now, though, you'll just be able to continue to your own match. Start training. Oh. Okay, so we have to go into training, apparently. I have to go into training, nice and page. Never going to complain at a page loading screen. Never going to complain at a page loading screen, ever. Not bad at all. Alright, so today you'll be training with Enzo Amore. He's going to help you learn a few things. Get in there and we'll get started. Do I talk? Okay, so we know about uh, collar and elbow tie-ups, right? Collar and elbow is a neutral hold, yada yada yada. Goal is to progress, dominant hold, pa rock, paper, scissors, yada yada yada. And he's pushed me into the ropes. How rude of him. How very rude of him. Get off me. Ah, what? I didn't even get the option to punch him there. And I wanted to go full on heel then as well. So, I, wait, do I just have to win a mini game or something? Do I just have to win a collar and elbow? Right, now that you've advanced out of it, chain wrestling. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. This is the same as last year, right? There we go, found it. Oh, he puts a bit of pressure on. How rude. Still got it. 
Yeah, and now can I smack him one? No, I cannot. He's just gonna kick me. Pretty sure I didn't have the option. Let's to start by him. getting into a grapple position. Then we'll go from there. Okay, this is oh right. Okay, this is slow. What's happening here? I, I'm not doing this, guys. Working hold. You're currently in a working hold. As the attacker, you can use working holds to your other opponent's stamina while simultaneously regenerating stamina of your own. As the defender, your objective is to escape as quickly as possible to minimize the impact to your overall stamina. <gasps> The quicker you escape, the more momentum you will earn. Uh, move R uh, to locate the hotspot. Once found, the blue color will turn red. Hold R uh, in the hotspot to fill the circular meter. There it is. He got there first, so he gets out nice and quick. That's that's just amazing. That is just amazing. Great job. Let's move to something else. Get into position. Okay, thanks. I love it. it doesn't just start off in position, it goes through the whole big world, even though I'm not pressing any buttons. Submissions! Move, er, you know, use err to move your slider around the circle. The attacker controls the red slider. We've already learned about this in um, showcase mode, didn't we? If the circle feels completely red, I win. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Press L2 to get a speed boost. Da, 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 da. Grab the orb for more success. Yada, yada, yada. Right, get it. Get... No. You will tap. You'll tap, sir. There we go. Oh, <laughs> slam. All right, that looked good. Let's keep it moving. Learning about kicking out of pins. Again. We haven't already learned about this on this. There we go. That was easy. Is that what I was meant to do? I wasn't reading. It looks like it. That's what I wanted to see. I think that's good for now. Go take a break. Um, anything interesting gonna happen? Look at that propaganda on the wall. You are more than just a professional wrestler. You are a WWE superstar. Ryback is angry at that poster. <laughs> He's like, I can't believe that's up in there. <laughs> Look at that face. You gained 500 SP for this training. Keep it up. Thanks. This is a really boring episode game. Can you do something interesting so I can uh, get something interesting for my uh, subscribers to watch? Go back to home. So that was in place of NXT, apparently. We don't get to train on those days. We have a one-on-one -on -one normal match. We have no current tag partner, no current rival. Okay, we can't speak to the authority. We're only about, maybe about 15 minutes into this video. Maybe not even that. Um, is this another... See, it just says one-on-one -on -one normal match, go to your match. But is this a proper match or... I'll tell you what, I'm going to figure out what's happening. Um, but the main point of today's episode was to introduce... Uh, Jack, awesome to you guys, and uh, let you know that we are going to be, love that. Yeah, let's just get into the Hall of Fame, shall we, right now. Can I select this option during the tutorial? Okay, we're still in the tutorial, so with that said, I'm going to do this match. I'm going to do this match. That confirms that we are still tutorialing. Tutorialing, there's a word for you. So, um, I will apologise in advance if this episode runs a little bit long, but... Unless it's too long, I really want to get the tutorial done. Oh yeah, here we are. Okay. So we're just going to be training again. Alright, I want to see what you could do in a real match. I'm pairing you up with Tyler Breeze. He's a former number one contender for the NXT title. If you get past him, we'll be sure to debut you at NXT in the near future. Awesome. Okay, nice and straightforward. Nice and straightforward. Going to beat Tyler Breeze, who is now on the main roster, and I've just noticed has disappeared. Pretty much off the main roster. Um, having watched TLC and heard no sign of him. We just added the match rating display at the top left of the screen. It will tell you how entertaining your match is. Whenever you do something exciting in the ring, the match display match rating display will tell you the goal in any matches to get to a 5 star rating. Okay then. hey Sit down. Yeah, stamp on your buttocks. Buttocks. 
Right then, let's uh, let's see what moves we have. Let's give him a smack. Lovely, bounce him off the ropes. Right, so this is just like um, just like having a match, but without a crowd and without an entrance and stuff like that. So I mean, we've got a generic move set. Um, we haven't edited that yet. I'm trying to use a lot of strikes because uh, obviously he's dressed up like a martial artist, so um, that's what we want him to be doing. Really, is quite a lot of strikes. A couple of slams won't go amiss though. What can he do at the legs? What can he do? I'm probably going to change the whole move set. Although this is pretty cool. Yeah! Now that's probably the highest impact move you can do from someone's feet, really, isn't it? I'm getting the feeling this isn't on the hardest difficulty as well. So I may have to, uh, I may have to just check that my career mode is on the same difficulty as uh, every other mode. Because I had that issue with Showcase, didn't I? And I've never resolved that, actually. I do apologise for that, guys. Um, if you're interested, if you're bothered by that, if you still want to see me do the first few matches on Legend difficulty, let me know in the comment section down below. If there's no rush, I won't do it just yet. Oh, he finally counters us. Um, so, yeah, as I was saying, on Showcase, it was like a separate difficulty level. I'm slightly w worried that we haven't had any things telling us that we're uh, having a good time at the moment. Oh, I know why. I've turned all the displays off. <laughs> My bad. There are no displays whatsoever because I've been recording dream matches. I'm going to have to turn them back on for my career, obviously. Um, press R2 at the right moment. Yeah, I've just done that. Uses the reversal slot that I can't see at the moment. Fantastic. Let's um, do him a smack. Are you going to give me a smack? Lovely. Get off me. Ha ha! Suckered you in, boy. Get down, get down. Get down, get down. Get down, get down. Yeah, kick him in the back. That's a nice and roundhouse kick. I have some of that. Okay, so I literally have no idea how much uh, momentum I've built. Probably not very much because if I remember rightly from doing 2K15 uh, my career briefly, one of the worst things about starting off as a new superstar is how slow your... Um, momentum builds. It's really, really painfully slow. So we're just going to uh, just keep beating on him for a bit. There's a nice knee drop across the face. Followed by a nice elbow drop. I'm just testing out his moves at the moment. Let's bash our chest a bit. There we go. Stamp on him. What else can we do? Nothing. He's going to count us here because I did not select to pick him up. What would be an ideal thing in this game, I think, would be to stop the uh, the reversals being so predictable from the start. Imagine if every move had its own unique reversal. You know, instead of, like, most ground moves just resulting in you trying to pick them up and them countering that. Imagine if there was an actual reversal for this move. That'd be cool. That'd be so cool. Right, what can we do at his head? I'm liking his moveset, actually. Might not change that much to start with. I might just change his finishers. We want him to have good finishers, don't we, guys? We want him to have good... Finishers. Pull his head off. Stamp on him. Oh, he moved. How rude. Right then, what else can we do? Oh, let's, uh... Let's see if we have my favourite move, which currently is being used, being used as a finisher by my least favourite wrestler, which is a little bit sad, but this is, like, one of my favourite moves in the game. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. The one where he climbs on the top rope. The one that Del Rio's using is his finisher at the moment, where he climbs on the top rope and then, um, like, double foot stomps the guy in the trio wall. It's a beautiful move. I don't know why they gave such a great move to such a mediocre wrestler. But hey-ho, I'm not in charge. I'm not in charge. I don't get to make any decisions for WWE. But I get to be in charge while I'm playing 2K16, which is nice. Okay, we either don't have a signature or finisher yet, or I'm trying to do it in the wrong um, situation. Wow. Okay, move a bit slower there, Tyler. It's either on easy or it's just being nice to us because it's still tutorial time. I'm not quite sure which it is yet. Right, so let's uh, kick him in the face. Have we got a... Oh, okay, we've got a charged finisher. We have a finisher build. I'm definitely going to turn the um, the thingies back on, the hood. Oh, what's this? Is it a submission? Mint. Why have we got... Ah, oh, get, get round after him. Oh, he escaped. He escaped our... Right, what? Oh, man. Why have we got a... Signature finisher, I don't approve. Um, a submission finisher, I don't approve of that. 
Right, let's just kick him in the face and then pin him. Let's see how damaged he is. Ha ha ha, we got a dodgy pin. He had all of the ropes. <laughs> okay, we got a three-star match. It's still building up there in the top corner. And that stopped. Not bad considering we weren't um, keeping up with what was happening. This is the match results screen. It tells you your match rating along with the breakdown of which elements contribute to that rating. Think of it as a more detailed version of the match display rate, match rating display. You can press X when you are finished browsing the screen. Nope. Oh, yep, even. I'm off. Okay, so is that the end of the tutorial? We still haven't unlocked Chris Jericho from 2001. Because we still have to do the special objectives in showcase mode. That's what it's telling us at the bottom there. That's okay. I'm okay with that. Training reward. You gained a 1,000 SP for this training. Keep it up. Is that the end of the tutorial? Look at him clenching his fist like... Argh. He's got no chill. Jack Awesome has no chill. Still on the tutorial. Okay. Right, well, I'm going to leave it there. We're not going to do a massive long episode just because it's all tutorial stuff. Um... You can't do anything during the tutorial, really, can you? Uh, I'm still ranked number 10 as well because I haven't appeared on TV. That makes perfect sense. In the next episode, we're going to be taking on the Vard Villains with um, Baron Carbon. That's his name, right? <laughs> the Lone Wolf. We're going to be tag teaming with the Lone Wolf because that makes perfect sense. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I haven't got a comment question of the day. I think I already asked you, are you bothered about um, me going back and doing Showcase on Legend the first few matches before I realised that it wasn't on Legend difficulty in Showcase. I'm going to check the settings. I'm going to make sure I put a hood on the screen. H-U-D. Hood. Not, not like an actual hoodie jacket kind of thing. Um, he already has a jacket. He has a, a lovely robe that he comes to the ring in because we wanted him to be a little bit Ric Flair-esque. Um, and we want him to be heel, but we are, at the moment, very much neutrally face. I think you face by default, but only just kind of thing, not a very loud pop. Um, yeah, so leave a like if you enjoyed this episode, if you're looking forward to uh, my career really kicking off. Um, and... Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you're new here. Don't forget to share this with your friends. Um, especially you, Jack. Don't forget to tell all your friends that you are in Ibeza's My Career Mode. Yeah, you should be well chuffed with that. But for the time being, <laughs> thank you very much for watching. How egotistical did that sound? I'm going heel already. Um, thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza. You've been amazing. And I will see you next time.